Hello, and welcome to another video. You know me as Phoenix, and we're starting out today's episode in the last, I, the last, uh, disregarded area, n area in need of stuff besides that, but that, we can't put anything because of the ravine that's really close behind there, so that's just gonna be decorated, kinda like what's behind me right now. But, we're gonna be putting, I think I have mentioned this or alluded to this in the past, but we're going to be putting an auto brewer here. Like, over here is where you select the potion. This can be for, like, if you want it to be splash, a lingering, or what effect, glowstone or redstone. And then you get the potion over here. I found a really malleable design because they have it set up so that it's straight across. But I want it to have it so all, like, the add-on effects are over here. You get the potion over here, and you select the potion here. It's really malleable. I can probably change it. I might do, do some workarounds. But, um, I'm gonna build the thing first, but that also means that this has to go. Um, unfortunately, the Tristan Pan's locator can't be here anymore. It was basically just a proof of concept to see if I could tile it. So, as well as that, this just all needs to go. So, I'm gonna start by doing this, and I'll meet you back when I get the thing brewing stuff started words <coughs> kittens are so cute i named my other cat his name is mr s so we have tabathon and mr s and you you sir are so adorable oh i can't wait to have more cats more cat variants i love it i love it that is now all cleaned up, and there is some blocks missing down there, but that's no big deal. But I think I need to mine all of this. Th okay, I need to mine it all three blocks back from where it is. And that's going to be relatively easy, because I have instant mine. And if I just stand in the right spot, I can just go like that, and it's done. So, I need to mine all this three blocks back, like I said. Um, there are, like, light indicators, and I don't know where that's gonna be. There's, like, light indicators, like, oh, do you need more of, like, oh, I need more golden carrots. Which I didn't think about all the materials that I'm gonna have to gather, and I think this is gonna be spread out over, um, Saturday and Tuesday's episode. I'm not so sure, though. But, let me make a little bit more progress. And I will be right back to show you what I got done. I'm back, and I did exactly as I said I would do. I mined this back three blocks. But now I... It's actually... It's a really, really simple thing, and I believe I also need to do this. And get one layer down below. You know, the way I mine out stone, you'd think... You'd think, wow, that guy's good at the game. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> but anyway, that's, it's not that difficult to do that. I think I'm going to get the basic redstone in, and then I'll show you guys the basic design of what it is. As always, when I use someone else's design to something that I didn't make myself, um, the link to that will be down in the description. And I almost started my outro. This is the beginning of the video. What am I doing? Anyway, I think I'm going to get, like, the base modules in. And then I'll show you what that looks like. And I'll show you the basic redstone. So I actually ended up getting carried away and just building more than I should have. But the droppers are in. And the levers are in. And these are just here for temporary lighting. This isn't how we're going to light the room. The hoppers are on top that's going to carry the items to the brewing stand. Which is going to sit right here and yes it can only do three at a time but that's i don't really need that i i can just do that a couple times or the, like once you have them clicked all you need to do is like press a button and all i need to do is once these are done just click it again and then it will do the whole system through again but over here we have it it's set up um fermented spider eyes this is if you want the negative effect of a potion and then redstone lengthens the effect Glowstone makes it stronger, and gunpowder, and that does all that. These are where all the potions are going to be. One of them isn't going to be used, so I might... The room is... 
I am leaning back in my chair. I'm so disappointed. Oh, this room is centered around two, which means I can't just take one out, which means the one at the end isn't going to be there or not going to be used because I think there's two potions that were added. There was Slow Falling and Turtle Master. And those... Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I don't know. Anyway, this is the progress where it is. This is where, this is where the that goes. So I'm going to make a little bit more progress. And I think I'm going to put lighting behind... Here because there are going to be lamps in the ceiling. I'm going to rewire it because it is, it does go a little bit taller because above here there's supposed to be signs and then one more above that there's going to be, there should be in the tutorial there's, that's where the um, redstone lamps go but I don't have a four tall ceiling so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewire it so they're sitting here and that's going to be what I'm going to do for that. And then those are basically just indicators to say, hey, 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 you don't have this item. Um, so I am going to make a little bit more progress. I'm not going to do any of the redstone now. Um, I'm going to do that. Like, I'm going to do, like, the first module with you guys. And then I'll just do the rest of it by myself. And this actually isn't taking as long. I probably could have done this on either a... Saturday or a Tuesday episode, but I just was so scared that this would take longer, but I already love how this is looking. I, oh, it's just, it's so great. Um, but I'm going to make a little bit more progress and then I'll show you in a little bit of a progress update. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, I miscounted. So there's eight, po there's eight in 1.9 and then there was a couple added. So I can just take out these center two. And then that means I can just go like this and get, oh, that makes me happy that, oh wait, I need those there. Those still need to be there. But then I can go like this and heck, what was, was it that order? Yeah. Oh, that looks nice with all of those items in there. Oh, that looks, that looks nice. That looks all kinds of nice. I didn't make any more progress other than that since the last clip, so I'm going to actually make more progress, and then I'll show you what it is. Alright, so to build the main um, auto brewer, what you need to do, this is just a basic um, tutorial-ish thing, in case you just wanted to build it real quick. If you want an in-depth in description of how everything works, then go watch the video down in the description, and it is a good watch. But then you just put the things there, and then you put redstone dust back here. And then once you reach the end here and you need to connect, um, like this part up, I, or the, he suggests in the video to put, connect it up to a repeater and go like this. And if I'm not mistaken, that should reach, um, I might need to put a repeater at the beginning here, but that's 15, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, that's fine. Um, now, as far as I know, this is all you need, other than connecting it up to the button over there, but, yeah, that's about it. I'm probably just gonna get this mostly up and running, and then we have to gather all of these materials in abundance to stock this thing up to get brewing, so I'm gonna get on that. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I have the rest of the redstone in. And if I pop in and just put any old item here, you can see this is flipped up, which means that it is selected. And if I click this button, this activates it. And in no time, I should see that item go there. So, I did have to do a little bit of reworking, but I'm really glad that I could make this fit in this area. That makes it so convenient and so nice to have all the potions and then the extra effects and the everything else on this side but you go down here this is for the nether wart and then it goes and it just had to had a repeater here and then there was a repeater down there as you saw so another thing that i need to test is just say there's no water bottles in it so i don't have to worry about anything breaking but if i go like this that should yep there was 23 in there and then in no time Fermented spider eye goes in there. It was already there. Anyway, 
yeah, so that's all done. Um, now I just need to do the rest of the aesthetics, because this ceiling is just ugh. Um, and also the redstone lamps. I need to get the redstone lamps in that indicate whether I am out of a certain item. So I'm going to do that, or watch how to do it, and then I'll show you guys how to do it. It's just a matter of putting, like, I think it's, like, blocks back here. I might be able to just do this now. Because there are blocks back here. Um, I broke two. I don't know. Um, that can get filled in. And that's, that's fine. Um, you need to get blocks back there, comparators, all of the fancy that fancy stuff and go like this into a block heck um into a block i think i'm just gonna get this done and then show you how it works afterwards so i don't struggle to build it on camera unless i can build it now uh yeah i don't remember the rest of it so i'm just gonna get this done and then i'll show you how it works once i get it done across the board so now that all that really needs to be done on um, this room is to put in the ceiling, and I decided rather than put the lamps to be flush, I figured I'd inset them one block, and I still have to decide what I'm going to do for lighting up the rest of the room. I hope there's more terracotta. Oh, of course there isn't, because I need to put terracotta, or not terracotta, I, I, need, I have what I need to put up there. Stone bricks. So once I get this filled in, I can grab these and put those up there, and it fits in nicely. But then what we're going to be putting around here is, ooh, I want that to be a nice block. Um, but we're going to be putting acacia trapdoors to kind of like block out the hoppers so we don't get that nasty hopper look and then i just i thought i have to put the gray concrete and i thought i can't put two trapdoors in the same block so i figured that'd be the perfect spot for that and this is fits in all nice and symmetrically it's nice and bright now all we need to do is uh stock it and i don't like that i don't like how that looks at all so I'm just going to put terracotta along. I can't because... Mm. I'm going to figure something out to put there. But then I'm going to stock this and I'll be right back. So I guess I'm a crazy cat person now. I'm back. And I've been trying to connect to the server for so long. I've been trying to connect to the server for so, so long. Like at least 45 minutes. And this room is done mostly there's still some things that i need to do i tried incorporating like we have with the rest of the the rooms like with this lava behind bars but the thing is is the only place that it really fits in is like on these edges but to make it even i wouldn't put like just three and then there is this issue with the hoppers and it just doesn't look good so i decided against it but then the ceiling i am in love with the ceiling it's that's a little bit meh for me. I, I might... Does this... How does that look? Does does that look any good? Because I do that on this side too. Yeah, I can live with that. I can I can live with that. Um, but yeah, here, I'm just going to take this, move this out, and not destroy everything. Um, fill that in. Stone bricks... Yeah, this is done. I incorporated lava lighting into it somehow, and it's like this little U-shaped thing around. But to show you how this works, first, I had a donation of sorts. It was uh, mainly um, gold nuggets that I had to buy, so it wasn't even really a donation. But JW doesn't... his At his farms, he doesn't sell the gold. So... Um, he let me buy it so that I could have enough gold to do this, but I just needed to... I had some golden carrots, so that's why I'm crafting more glistening melons than anything. But I still wanted to craft some golden carrots. 
But now what we're going to do, we have to stock the golden carrots in there and the glistening melons in there. And you can see that all the lights are on. So now what we need to do, there is water bottles going in this one and blaze powder going in this one. Don't have very much of that. But now all we need to do to run this, you guys can, if you watch the tutorial, you will see this. But I'm going to do this anyway. I want to craft hmm, a swiftness potion. So what I need to do, I need to flip that. And I might put more indicators like lamps here just to visually see more than just flipped levers. But that'll be another thing to do. So I need an awkward potion. And then that. And then... There's also signs that I can put up here to show me what potion makes what. And I am going to do that. But, but that's just going to be between. And if I'm right, to make it a swiftness potion for 8 minutes, I need to do redstone. So that would be like plus effect and plus, dura or plus duration plus effect. Splash and then lingering. But then all I do is I come over here. If I do everything right, click this button, it dispenses everything, and then in a matter of time, there's the nether wart, and pretty soon we'll see the sugar and the, the redstone, and it works. And I don't actually want to make a potion, I was just showing you. Um, so I'm not actually going to make it, but that's how that works. And that's that's really great. Uh, not everything is fully stocked, like turtle helmets to make uh, turtle master. I only had two. These are quite sparse as well. And I filled everything enough. I'm not going to use this very often. Mainly when I'm like, if I'm fighting something, I might need it. But nether wart isn't even full. But yeah, um, this is this, and there is one more thing that I might do. I am going to clean this out because this is just messy to keep like this but i'm going to look up another tutorial because i want to put a nano farm because but eventually what we're going to do is we're going to have automated farms for everything but i wanted to put a nano farm right here that it uses like light levels or something some kind of nano farm that works at 1.13 to put here just to fill this space basically because once I get um, my automated wheat, carrot, and potato farms, that's that's going to be completely redundant. But anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so I am going to end this clip here. And then I'm going to look up a tutorial. I'm probably just going to build it because I probably have gone over time already. But I'm going to look up a tutorial. I'll build it, and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to clean up everything from down here. And that's probably going to be the end of this episode, so I'm going to get that done, guys, and I'll be right back. So as it turns out, I can't build or put the lamps here. I was going to place them right below, but they're going to be powered no matter what. So there's no really point to doing that, and that's just because of that torch right there, and that's how the whole thing gets activated. So as disappointing as it is, I can't have a visual indicator. That's kind of scary to have done because there's not much holding that lava back, but that looks too cool to remove. So I'm actually going to build the nano farms. Oh my gosh. Don't like instant mine. I love it, but I don't. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to actually build the nano farm now, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I did read some comments on the video that I watched and built this that this might not work in 1.13.1 which is the version, or 13.2. So if I just turn this on, it may or may not work. I am not sure. Oh, it does work. So now all I have to do is hold this down and I get wheat. This is great. I don't understand how it works or why it works, but it works. Oh, this is, I love this. This is amazing. And it fits in like perfectly. And, the, the, oh, I love it. I love this so much. But I think we got a lot of progress done. We got this, this auto brewer done. Oh, and in, I think in the one clip, this was empty. I filled it back up. Uh, but we got a lot, a lot done today. Um, 
so that I think that's going to be where I end today's episode. Sorry if it was a little bit shorter. It probably wasn't because I'm bad at managing time. But we got an auto brewer in our base now. We don't have to worry about potions and manually grabbing anything. It's all right here in one spot. So um, leave a like on today's video if you did like it. And let me know down in the comment section more ideas. I'm, I've been putting this project off for a while because I expected it to take longer. Like I was fully expecting to work on this for Tuesday's episode. But we got this and something up there done. So that's great. I absolutely love this ceiling. I love it. I love this ceiling. It's a little bit off center on either side, but that's no big deal. Um, so yeah. If like I said, leave a like on the video. I already said that. I said like I said. I am bad at this outro stuff, but um, both videos that I used in today's episode for the tutorials, like this and the nano farm. They're both going to be down in the description below, so check them out, give them some love, and that's going to be it for me today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.